Hey guys, this is Comic Uno, and today I'm doing a review for the monumental issue 25 of all new X-Men. Before I start talking about this issue, just want to give you guys uh, a couple updates. Uh, first update is that Friday I will be doing a live show with Mr. J's Comics, Jeremy, um, on Disney, so, and we'll also have other people on the on the panel also, so be sure to check that out on Friday, about Friday night. I don't know exactly what time yet, but on Twitter, Facebook, I'll have that, um, what time and stuff, and the links for all that. Um, yeah, so check that out. We also did an Arrow Clap video, so be sure to check that out. Go check his channel. Um, also, we did a Frozen Media Madness, so we commentated all of Frozen, and if you haven't checked that out, that'll be annotated. Um, and guys, vote for a future TV show or movie we, uh, the viewers pick, because we're going to have a viewers pick a week after we all have our choices all done. We'll have a viewers pick week, so be sure to pick, and we're going to vote out of all the ones that from the Frozen video, and that'll go on to the poll. So be sure to vote for a TV show or movie on the Frozen movie, um, Media Madness. So that'll be annotated. And also, I have Comic Uno episode 42. Yes, it's not episode 44. I know episode 43 was last week. Uh, I misnumbered, so I skipped 42 by accident. So 42 is this this week, and then next week will be 44. But here are those exclusive comics. We got Powerpuff Girls issue 8. Invincible issue 110. Shotgun Wedding, Issue 2. Robin Hood Legend, Issue 2. And Shudder, Issue 1. Captain Marvel, Issue 2. Avengers Undercover, Issue 2. And Superior Foes of Spider-Man, Issue 11. So if you want to go check out all those reviews, go to Comic You Know, Episode 42, which will be annotated. But let's talk about all new X-Men issue 25. Um, really cool cover. This is uh, one of those anniversary issues, so it's double size. It's an uh, extra dollar, I think. This is usually a $3.99 book. Uh, but it is double size, so it should be worth your money. We'll have to see if it is. And uh, really cool cover. Like it. Uh, I think there's other covers for it, too. I think there's variants, but I got the regular cover. Uh, and I thought it was a cool cover. It's like it's kind of like an abstract -y, but it, it really works. This is all the first class X-Men, which is really what the all-new X-Men um, series is about. But this issue is about Beast, which is weird, because he's not really in this title that much. Uh, but let's see what's going on with the story. Um, so like I was saying, it's mostly about Beast, but... Um, the X-Men as a whole. Uh, the Watcher shows up saying, hey, the X-Men are in turmoil, and we go over, like, every character, and we have different artists with, uh, each page or page or two, um, and how they're in turmoil, and that's mostly the first class X-Men, and then the Watcher says, hey, but there are people that are happy, like, uh, this could happen in the future where everyone's happy and people accept the X-Men, and... Uh, Ileana has a friend, so we get to see some of the X-Men actually happy also. And then we have these two little mini-stories that kind of abrupts the Beast story, and it's a uh, Kitty Pride story, which is hilarious, with Colossus, and uh, Scott and Logan story where they are still fighting over Jean, and then uh, Jean and Wolverine are like an old married couple. So those are the three little cartoon um, stories, and then we continue into Beast's story uh, with, hey, the X-Men could be happy, but you gotta figure it out, and he still is losing sleep because he really doesn't know how to make the X-Men happy in the end because that's always been his goal. Um, but yeah, this issue I thought was good, but it's very generic with the X-Men stuff. There's been so many of these X-Men double side things. I'd rather have had just a continuation of Guardians um, and the Trials of Jean Grey. Uh, but this issue is just very one-shotty. Uh, of course, it's an anniversary issue. It's fun. I, I really like seeing all the artists, like, especially Bruce Tim really loved his art. Um, you know, there's a fun kitty page. It wasn't a bad issue, but it's something we've seen over and over again. Uh, I think we know about the X-Men and their tor turmoil. But it was still a fun issue, worth picking up. Um, but, you know, nothing that blew my mind either. So I'm going to give this uh, three and a half stars. Not a bad issue, but uh, it's something I've seen before. So... Uh, yeah, we'll see where it goes. I kind of wish it was a, a different all-new X-Men issue. I wish we just continued with the other story and had a regular issue, but whatever. You know, um, I care, but, <laughs> um, I guess you, there's nothing you can really do about it. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna give it a three and a half. Uh, please, please let me down below what you thought about the issue, and, uh, don't forget to follow me on Twitter for Comic and Know and their own situations, and don't forget to like my Facebook page, and I will see you guys later. Bye.